hi guys welcome back to the channel expert empire in today's tutorial i'll be showing you how to draft and drape this gorgeous spiral rose sleeve pattern this is a very detailed tutorial it is beginner friendly and easy to make to my returning subscribers thanks a bunch guys and to my new subscribers thank you very much for joining this channel you're all welcome and if this tutorial looks like what you're interested in then keep watching to the end now let's get started i've already drafted a basic long sleeve pattern i have a video on how to draft a basic sleeve on this channel you can go ahead and watch that video in case you don't have an idea of how to draft a basic sleeve okay and i can as well drop the link to the video in the description below so after that i'll get a fresh pattern paper and place it on bias fold like this i'll go ahead and place the basic sleeve pattern on the bias fold base like this and tape it down if you want more fullness of the draped rows come down by three inches below the elbow line but as for me i'll be placing it directly on that elbow line like this okay so i'll go ahead and tape it down using my cello tape like this i'll cut out this new sleeve pattern and make sure you remember to add about three or five inches to the basic sleeve length when drafting from the sleeve length to the elbow line is 18.5 inches and from the center sleeve to this edge is 13.5 inches make sure the center is on fold okay I'll place the fabric on bias fold like so and place the new sleeve pattern on it like this. I'll add seam allowance of 0.5 inch on this part. Then I'll cut it out. After cutting it out, this is what it looks like. So this is how to draft a spiral rose sleeve pattern, okay? So I'll go ahead and remove the pins and then separate the pattern from the fabric. I'll be infusing this interfacing on the fabric and this is because the fabric I'm making use of is light, okay? I'm making use of a certain fabric. I'll be infusing the interfacing on this upper part where the rows will be okay for this tutorial i'm making use of paper stay but hair stay will be more preferable okay so i'll go ahead and infuse the interfacing on the fabric okay and after that i would sew this part like this with half inch and bring it back to show you what it looks like i've stitched this part with half inch as you can see so what I'll do next is to notch that part so that it can relax well, okay? After notching, I'll go ahead and trim off this sharp edge so that that place can also relax by the time I'm draping. I also went ahead to compress the seam line, as you can see. And this sleeve would require a lining, okay? Especially for the upper part because of the draping. I already cut out my lining, as you can see. I'll just keep that aside for now. I'll turn the sleeve to the right side like this and then gradually and carefully work my way through it like this by folding it in. Okay, I want to make sure that this part is relaxing well by the time it's out like this. So after I get the midpoint relaxing that way, as you can see, I'll bring the lining piece then place the sleeve on the lining like this after placing it on the lining i'll go ahead and pin it down to keep it in place all right i'm doing this because i want to get the center of the sleeve so after getting the center i'll just pin it down on the lining piece like this so let me just turn it over for you to see how it looks like at the back so this is how it looks like on the lining okay so I'll flip it over again. Then it's time to drape the spiral rose, guys. 
so doing this you have to take your time all right take your time just go ahead and create the spiral rows or the shape that you want and as you do it you work your way around it just play around with it and then pin it down okay when i get the desired shape that i want or the desired curve that i want i'll just go ahead and pin it down to temporarily secure it in place all right i'll continue to repeat the same thing all over all right we continue repeating the same thing i'll arrange the rows like this and then pin it down okay when i'm okay with what i have i'll just pin it down to temporarily secure it in place i'll continue to do the same thing like i said earlier you can create any style or shape of your choice all right just go ahead and keep working your way around until you exhaust the excess fabric that you have right there okay so i'll just go ahead and arrange it properly the way i want i think i'm okay with this shape i'll just pin it down like this okay so you can see it's looking nice already so you can see the spiral shape right there you can see the spiral rose shape that i have i'll duplicate the same thing on the other sleeve whatever shape that you drape on one sleeve just try as much as possible to replicate the same thing it might not be all that equal okay but just try and see that you replicate similar thing on the other sleeve so that it will look the same okay and after that i'll go ahead and tack it with my hand needle and thread and after tacking it i'll place it on each other right side facing each other like this and then stitch it down with the same allowance that i left okay i'll fold in the hemline and our spiral rose sleeve is ready this is looking so beautiful elegant and easy to make it looks so nice you need to try this sleeve out okay it's looking so beautiful guys you can see the essence of um using interfacing for this sleeve you can see how the spiral rose is standing and perfectly it's not moving or shaking right but it is optional as a matter of fact if you don't want to make use of any interfacing if you just want to use your fabric like that irrespective of the texture of your fabric you can also do that as well okay it depends on your preference so guys please let me know in the comment section if you'll be trying this sleeve out okay with this we have come to the end of this interesting and easy tutorial if you find this video helpful and you enjoy watching this tutorial please give this video a massive thumbs up click on the subscribe button if you are not yet subscribed to this channel and make sure you turn on your post notification bell so you get notified each time i upload a new video you can also share this video with your fellow soulmates and friends and i'll see you all in my next one bye